Greetings from me, Kid Grass. This is a let's play of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild in Master Mode. And let me just start this off by saying... Oh, and sorry, I was too close to the mic there. I'm sorry, it was too loud. Um, I apologize profusely because I just discovered that the previous four episodes had no game audio whatsoever. Considering that part of it had voice acting... That's not very good, and I'm sorry. Uh, but now I'm going to continue on my journey. Last last time we were going to head to the Temple of Time, and we are going to continue going there now. Also, actually, did we already get this one? I don't think we did. No, we did not. That is another type of quark puzzle. You dive into a circle of leaves, and a quark will pop out. That puts our total up to three quark seeds. And I don't believe we've gotten whatever's here either. Unless, because we got a sword from here, but I think there's something... Oh, okay. So there's, there's, that's just a sword and a rock. Oh, hey. That is a bombable area. Oh. Well, it is bombable, but I kind of screwed up the timing there. Also, I'm sorry if you hear, like, tapping in the microphone. I'm not sure if it'll show up, but... My headphone cord is plugged into my monitor. That was the problem that was... That was the issue that was causing there to be no audio. Is that it was plugged into the switch. So it would not record the audio. But... in But now... It's plugged into the monitor that I'm using. So that should be better. Okay, there we go. That finally worked. Uh... So we have a chest here. What's giving us an opal? Would have preferred a weapon, but that's fine. So let's just head on over to the Temple of Time. By the way, there's guardians here, and on my first playthrough. These all really freaked me out because I wasn't sure which ones were live and which ones were inactive. Got a bacoblin chasing us. I wonder if this damages it. It might, but I'll never know because... Alright, so let's just ignore that bacoblin and <laughs> see what's glowing on the statue. So we can pray to it. And it's shining... Or no, it's just it's just amplifying the light of the sun. Nothing to see here. Anyway, you have conquered the shrines and claimed their spirit orbs. I can offer you great power. It appears you have claimed four spirit orbs. In exchange for four spirit orbs, I will amplify your being. So tell me what it is that you desire. This is what replaces the heart containers. It is what complete is what um replaces the heart piece slash heart container um, function feature in in other Zelda in other Zelda games. Every time you collect four spirit orbs you can either get a heart container or a stamina vessel. I'm gonna go with heart containers just because I'm helpless against enemies and stamina doesn't really matter all too much in combat combat. I shall grant you the power you seek. All right, so we get a heart container. Getting a heart container also refills your health. I'm at maximum health, so that's so it's not really a great way of showing that. But 
Anyways, it's the man again. Also, that's the first time you're hearing that sound effect because I didn't have the sound on on the last few. The blessing of the goddess has made you that much more resilient, I see. Here I am. Get up here, quickly. Sorry about those random pauses in the way, it's because sometimes I get notifications on my phone. I need to check what they are. Uh, hopefully that won't happen as much, but sometimes it's like during... Sometimes it's like almost... Sometimes like during times where people want to text me. Uh, and that's really the only time, and that's like the time that I'm available for recording. So I apologize that that's happening, but... Hopefully it's not too much of a pace breaker. Anyway, here he is with some odd blue flames around him. What are you? <laughs> <laughs> well done there, young one. Now then, the time has come to show you who I truly am. I was King Rome Bosphoramus Hyrule. I was... The last leader of Hyrule. A kingdom which no longer exists. <laughs> the Great Calamity was merciless. It devastated everything in its path, lo, a century ago. It was then that my life was taken away from me. And since that time, here I have remained in spirit form. I did not think it wise to overwhelm you while your memory was still fragile. So rather than that, I thought it best to assume a temporary form. Forgive me. I think you are now ready. Ready to hear what happened 100 years ago. To know Calamity Ganon's true form, one must know the story from an age long past. The Demon King was born into this kingdom, but his transformation into malice created the horror you see now. Stories of Ganon were passed from generation to generation in the form of legends and fairy tales. But there was also a prophecy. The signs of a resurrection of Calamity Ganon are clear, and the power to oppose it lies dormant beneath the ground. We decided to heed the prophecy and began excavating large areas of land. It wasn't long before we discovered several ancient relics made by the hands of our distant ancestors. These relics, the divine beasts, were giant machines piloted by warriors. We also found the Guardians, an army of mechanical soldiers who fought autonomously. This coincided with ancient legends oft repeated throughout our land. We also learned of a princess with a sacred power and her appointed knight chosen by the sword that seals the darkness. It was they who sealed Ganon away using the power of these ancient relics. One hundred years ago, there was a princess set to inherit a sacred power and a skilled knight at her side. It was clear that we must follow our ancestors' path. We selected four skilled individuals from across Hyrule and tasked them with the duty of piloting the divine beasts. With the princess as their commander, we dubbed these pilots champions, a name that would solidify their unique bond. The princess, her appointed knight, and the rest of the champions were on the brink of sealing away Ganon. But nay. Ganon was cunning, and he responded with a plan beyond our imagining. from deep 
below Hyrule Castle. Seize control of the Guardians and the Divine Beasts. Turn them against us. The champions lost their lives. Those residing in the castle as well. The appointed knight bravely collapsed while defending the princess. And thus, the kingdom of Hyrule was devastated absolutely by the calamity Ganon. However, the princess survived to face Ganon alone. Link, you are our final hope. The fate of Hyrule rests with you. That princess was my own daughter. My dear Zelda. And the courageous knight who protected her right up to the very end. That knight was none other than you, Link. You fought valiantly when your fate took an unfortunate turn. And then, you were taken to the Shrine of Resurrection. Here you now stand, revitalized 100 years later. The words of guidance you have been hearing since your awakening are from Princess Zelda herself. Even now, as she works to restrain Ganon from within Hyrule Castle, she calls out for your help. However, my daughter's power will soon be exhausted. Once that happens, Ganon will freely regenerate himself, and nothing will stop him from consuming our land. Considering that I could not save my own kingdom, I have no right to ask this of you, Link. But I am powerless here. You must save her, my daughter, and do whatever it takes to annihilate Ganon. Somehow, Ganon has maintained control over all four divine beasts, as well as those guardians swarming around Hyrule Castle. I believe it would be quite reckless for you to head directly to the castle at this point. I suggest that you make your way east out to one of the villages in the wilderness. Follow the road out to Kakariko village. There you will find the elder Impa. She will tell you more about the path that lies ahead. Consult the map on your Shika slate for the precise location of Kakariko village. Make your way past the twin summits of the dueling peaks. From there, follow the road as it proceeds north. We got the paraglider, and it looks like we've got our plans laid out for us. So, by the way, I would like to mention something. I am doubly sorry for the time when I talked about the, the little piano riffs that, that you hear occasionally, because you guys could not hear anything, and I just said, oh, that's a new one that I've never heard before, and I am sorry about that, and I think that's it. I've told you everything I can. Link, you must save Hyrule. Alright, well, let's see what's in this chest. By the way, that objective to destroy Ganon, you can do exactly that. You can go right to the castle and not do anything. That is how open-ended this game is. But I am not going to do that. I would like to actually stand a chance and show you guys everything that has that this game has to offer. So, with the paraglider, you can press X while in the air to activate it, and you can do something very useful that I think I'm going to actually use. Hip. 
if you're in the air and you pull out your bow, you can stop time somehow. I mean, I'm not complaining that it's possible, but... Link, how do you do that? Got him. Alright, so they're all dead. I really just need the arrows. Even though if I could kill this that guy, that'd be nice. Oh god. You can't come in, I'm zoning you out. <laughs> God, that hurts. <laughs> I mean, not literally, but still. Man, that red, I feel like I've said it before, but that red, that is just like, that is indicative of what this mode entails. Is that the right word? Doesn't matter. Oh, we're back here. Well. I think we should head out to the tower. Um, well, after we do this again. Yeah, it will continuously use up stamina until... Oh god. Okay, that didn't go as well as the last time. Crap. Alright. You... Are dead, and you know what? I am perfectly happy with that. I am out. I am Audi, I am warping to the tower, I honestly couldn't care less that I'm missing out on some good loot, but I am mad that I died from that, the Coblin, <laughs> the, the first time, because that went so well the first time, I'm just not even going to bother the second time. Anywho. Let's go to seek out Impa. Alright, that, that is what I have my quest set to. Which is good. I mean, at least I'm doing fairly well against the enemies now. with my new um with my new loot I have long pauses between my sentences oh oh wait is this oh I think I've just accidentally step taken my first step into Hyrule Kingdom well wait well no I think it just says that if you're not in the Great Plateau also, fire causes updrafts. These updrafts will lift you up usually if you have your paraglider out, which is handy a little bit. I can I could use that. Uh, that's a good way of that's a good way to like kill birds if you're not if you're not good with like sneaking up on them, that's a great way to. That's a great um, other way to kill birds. Also, I am going to drop the Boko Club because it's basically worthless, uh, and 
take this rusty broadsword. Which, okay, so that's six, but it's not very durable. Oh, oh, uh oh. That is a bit of a problem. You know, I was able to take one of these guys out before. It's. No, it's not fine. <laughs> ah, God. <sighs> yeah, I can't deal with black goblins right now, but at least I can deal with the blue ones. Also, I guess that means that there's no red bacoblins or rank any rank one enemies, like at all. Oh yeah, also, since I've stepped into Hyrule, I'm getting all the quests for the DLC. Because the DLC, there's quests for the DLC, so just, just bear with me for a sec, because that's going to be going on for a little while. Jeez, we're all right, 20 minutes. I'm not going to stop the video here, but jeez. Oh. Hey, that is a moblin. Oh, that's a lot of moblins. That is a, not a good thing. But what is a good thing is that there's a shrine over there. Uh... I wonder if I can hit those guys. Oh. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I like that that one really doesn't have a name. It's just Xenoblade Chronicles. Ah, frick. No, that's not the name, but. Oh, that just blew it up. That just, like, blew up the whole thing. Well. I will gladly take whatever's in this chest. Oh my goodness. Dude. What the heck? <laughs> that is... That is a weapon. Oh wow. Holy wow. I wonder if I can... I wonder how much damage the blue, bacob the blue coblins... Blue bocos? I'm not going to say Bacoblins every time, because it's kind of a pain to say. Um, well, it, not really. Oh, hey. This is ore. It can drop random ores. There's there's other classes of ore. There's luminous ore, which I think only drops luminous stones, which are another type of ore. And then there's that kind of ore. And then there's rare ore, which is which has like gold crystals coming out of it. And... Um, and drops the higher tier or ores like sapphire, ruby, and topaz. And diamond. Diamond is another one. Diamond is like the ultra rare one. What the? Is this guy asleep or is he just... Oh god! Dude, you scared me! <laughs> Dude, that really scared me! <laughs> Are you freaking kidding me? <laughs> I, this is this is a pain. I'm gonna I want to at least do that shrine before I end off the episode. But honestly, this so this might be. I've been kind of going with thirty minutes recently, but wait, wait. They are a lot faster too. Oh my god. Wait. Okay, so I still have the sledgehammer, but. Hold on a second. Oh, no chest. Okay. I was wondering why that was still there. Oh, hey, hey, hey. I'm getting distracted all over the place. I may not actually do that shrine, but that thing floating out in the water 
That is something that I can access using Cryonis. Because for some reason, Link is... Well, actually... No, he wouldn't be able to push that. But some of them are... They're, like, right on the shore, and it doesn't give you... And Link can't, like, lift it out of the water. Anyways, the, those are those were rupees. That's Those were our first rupees in the game. They're the currency. If you've ever played Zelda games, you'll know that rupees are the currency. Unless you play Triforce Heroes, then they're Force Gems. But... Other than that, if you've played any other so if you played any other Le Legend of Zelda game, not Sonic game or Link game, I almost said that too. Um, then you'll know that rupees are the main currency. There's um, there's the the green rupees, which are one rupee. The blue rupees, which are five rupees. The red rupees, which I don't remember how much they're worth. The purple rupees, which we saw, are fifty. Silver are 100 and gold are 200 or 300 I don't remember anyway next time I'm sorry I said we were gonna go through this shrine but then I realized it was like 20 minutes in um we are going to explore the shrine and see what else lies on the path ahead this has been EK Grass